This system is a bioacoustic fish fence, which we call a bath. So bioacoustics, in a general sense, is a field of science that kind of investigates the relationship between animals and sounds. In this particular context, we're using sounds to deter fish from a target area. And so the purpose of this bioacoustic fish fence is essentially to keep um, juvenile Chinook salmon um, along the main stem of the Sacramento River here, uh, to keep them out of Georgiana Slough and to kind of make their way out into the Delta. Once they get into their interior Delta, it's really just a, a maze of waterways. And so really their likelihood of them eventually encountering the intake structures of the state water project or just their time in the system, um, they get predated on. Uh, so predation is a major concern once they start entering the interior Delta. There's a few steps of putting the bath system in at the moment. The first one is to take some big piles. We use the really big crane back there with a large hammer and they drive those piles into the riverbed. From there, we can then set these brackets onto the piles and our frames will mount onto those brackets and those can then get slid down the piles to the target depth. And once they are in, we've got the deal of hooking up power, communications and air supply all to those. So the bubble curtain will rise up to the surface and creates this really kind of dense area of sound that was captured within the bubbles. The lights then position so that they illuminate the bubble curtain from the front and the idea is that a fish that's approaching the barrier will be able to get this sudden interaction with this wall of sound and they'll follow the whole system all the way to the bottom. So the advantages of the non-physical barrier is, one, it's, it's unimpeded flows. Um, you know, so the goal is we want to protect the fish, but we also don't want to um, influence or persuade any of the flows coming down the Sacramento River that will naturally make its way into Georgiana Slough. And so the goal is really just to keep things the way that it normally would flow um, hydraulically. And so that's, that's the, the benefit of having a non-physical barrier. And one of the main advantages of that is it's completely navigable for boats and that's in both the commercial and the leisure industry. You can have boats pass straight over the top with no real interference, might get a bit of vibration from the sound, but other than that, it's completely safe. You will see a nice line of bubbles that'll run around the corner of the river. Uh, in the nighttime, you'll probably see the barrier being lit up by the high intensity lights, they'll be flashing. Um, and then in terms of sound, there's a lot of road noise around here. You probably won't hear much unless you're on a boat just over the system. We did install a very similar barrier in 2011 um, as part of a study. And um, the results that we got from that was that um, we saw a 67% reduction in entrainment into uh, Georgiana Slough as part of that study. So the barrier will be in place essentially from mid-November all the way to the end of May. We're gonna tag and release fish um, north of here at one or multiple locations. And the goal is we would also have acoustic telemetry um, that will pick up signals as these fish head down the system. And so our goal is really to monitor how effective is the barrier once it's in. This is an important project because the juvenile salmonids are listed species, which means that they are an endangered species. So the goal is really just to protect them, um, to try to increase their population as a whole.